Hey, what's up? Julie Burke here. Let me just put this mop up. What's, got, what's going on, guys? Coming to you live. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm coming to you live outside, and I have like a bumblebees fighting on my um, outdoor patio here, but it's gorgeous out. It's like 80s, so I'm coming to you live at a very off time, so I don't even know who's going to be on here. Let's just see. Let's just see how many how many people we get. Um, hey, I see hearts. I see hearts, so I know it's working. I'm outside in my backyard. It's beautiful. I got my hashtag blush shirt on, and I am coming to you at a very off time. I usually go live in the afternoon, but you guys, like, I have no parents helping, and so I'm, like, all over the place because I have Landon home with me um, since um, they've been very sick, but they're getting better, so thank you for all the prayers. Listen to me because today I'm coming to you, and I will try and keep this clean, so if you have children around, I will promise that I will definitely try and use... Um, good words, but it's something that I need to talk about because bullying inside of network marketing, I honestly, I, I have zero freaking tolerance for it. And so I went through it a year ago, like a year ago this month. And so you need to share this out because I want people to hear this. Like I, I'm the girl, if you know me and you follow Julie Burke, um, I don't hold back. Like I don't, I don't sugarcoat it. I don't, I don't like fluff your feathers to make you feel better. Um, I will definitely say it like it is. And so, so be it. Um, but if you are new to who I am, my name is Julie Burke. I'm the founder of create success with Julie.com. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my fan page community. I absolutely love, um, my tribe here and I offer, um, free tips and in, in trainings and strategies on how to help home-based business um, owners to utilize online marketing strategies to leverage their time to build their business and their brand. So I, I literally challenge anyone to come after me and say, you build your business, then you build your brand. No, 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 my friends. You build your brand, then your business. I even was speaking to Brendan Burchard's business manager yesterday, because we're going to be working together. And we were talking about the same thing. And she's like, Julie, you absolutely have it right. Especially in network marketing, we are not taught sales. We are not taught marketing. We're not taught taught branding. And that's what I do. Um, so if you like all that and you want to know all that, then smash that follow button and, and follow me. Um, you guys, I have like a million bees flying around. I have Lola sitting here. Lola, say hi. All right. Lola made her appearance, everybody. Little Lola the cockapoo. All right. So here we go. Bullying inside of network marketing needs to stop. One year ago, oh God, I got a wasp next to me. Ugh, Lola, leave it alone. One year ago, I was bullied. I was bullied by my upline. I was bullied by other people that were inside of my upline team, um, all because I wanted to be an entrepreneur, all because I started my own coaching business and felt like there was a need in this, in this space to teach other network marketers um, how to use social media. It was something that I learned six years ago before social media and Facebook really blew up. I, I started creating curiosity. I literally flew to six figures inside that business. And, um, and then I started seeing all these people spam and I was like, no, 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 like let's not spam. Let's do this profession right. Because this is what gives the profession a bad name is if you're spamming, like it's just an icky feeling. Like no one wants to freaking see a picture of a shake every every day. Like they don't care how many different ways you could drink your shake. They don't care about seeing your oil bottles. Like that is not what attracts people. You guys, attraction marketing 101, like hello, dial in here because I will teach you attraction marketing and branding. Okay. So I went on this journey to educate myself on attraction marketing and branding so then I can educate others. I already saw what was working in my network marketing business and I saw other people sending out links and spamming all over the place and I was like, uh-uh, time out, they need help. So because I decided, Julie Burke, to start my own business, to start my own training company, to start my own brand 
um, people were like, Hey, do you coach? I'm like, sure. Like I accidentally started a coaching business. Like I swear to God, it's just crazy how it happened. That flew to six figures in six months. Then I became an affiliate marketer because why? Because multiple income streams are super important. You guys, like we don't own our network marketing company and no disrespect to network marketing companies. Cause there's a lot of amazing network marketing companies, you guys, but tomorrow those doors can shut as we saw in 2015. Okay. With two companies in particular. That's when I started getting the itch and started saying, okay, Julie, let's be smart about this. Let's, you're an entrepreneur. You want to stay at home. You don't want to go back to work. You want to raise these boys at home. How can you do this? And how can you make sure that you have income coming into your home, not just with six figures in network marketing? So what did Julie do? Julie branched out. Then people started coming to me and saying, Hey, can you teach me this? Hey, how are you learning this? Hey, I want to learn this. Okay. Because I did that and because I helped other people, I got the handcuffs put on. I was literally dragged through the mud and not just me, other people that I loved, other people that also wanted to create multiple income streams and also become entrepreneurs. Okay. We weren't doing anything illegal. We weren't doing anything wrong, but the bullying started. I just had more self-respect for myself and integrity to walk away and to know okay, um, guess what? I could sit here in silence and not do anything, or I could go out and say, look at what I'm gaining over here with being involved with leadership in, in a company that appreciates me being an entrepreneur. So I start over and I start from scratch. I know not everyone has that luxury because probably they they might not have the multiple income streams like I did. So they were able, I, I was able to walk away from a multiple six figure income and start over again from scratch. That's another reason why you want multiple income streams, right? And I preach it all the time, but let's get back to the bullying inside of network marketing and how it has to stop because it's, I, I have another um, dear friend going through this. Okay. Again, kind of like, I actually think that they got it way worse than I did, but still it doesn't matter the story. The story is that you have more self-respect. The story is that network marketing is supposed to be freaking freedom, right? Freedom of choice, freedom of this, like leaders step on a pedestal and they scream freedom from the mountaintops, but yet I'm sorry, where the heck's the freedom if people aren't happy and they choose to leave? Seriously, you're going to go and you're going to start, you know, becoming a hater and throwing arrows at their back and start making stuff up and, and just totally publicly freaking humiliate them, um, especially going to a Facebook live and humiliate them or block them on Facebook or what have you and treat them like they're total crap because they decide to go a different way. Like, I'm sorry, but it's total freaking BS and it has to stop. So this is why it happened. So MLM sponsors and uplines, they are not freaking bosses. Okay. Number one, but they do it. They do it anyways. And they act like your boss. And because sponsors are not governed by the usual guidelines of business etiquette, the bullying is often actually worse in network marketing from uplines, right? I'm not talking all uplines, you guys. There's a lot of amazing freaking leaders. There's a lot of amazing uplines, but there's also thousands of network marketing companies and multiple millions of network marketers out there. So I'm not preaching all leaders, right? I definitely don't teach treat my team like that. If someone came to me and was like, Julie, I'm so unhappy. Honestly, I feel more aligned over here with this company. Thank you so much for all you've done. Would I be upset? Of course, upset in terms of because I love my team, but not upset because they made that choice and what's right for them and their family. Absolutely not. See, there is a difference here. If you're worried about the dollar sign at the end of the day, if you're worried about your cycles, if you're worried about your legs, and all of that, if you're just seeing dollar signs and money, there's a problem. You have a problem, okay? If you're an upline or a leader, you can't look at people as dollar signs. You have to look at them as people. And if they are not happy and fulfilled at the end of the day, it should not matter where they go, what they want to do. It's their life, not yours. So be the leader, say, I will miss you, but I want you to go off and be happy and then go out and build another leg or go out and do what you need to do. Keep recruiting, keep prospecting, do the, do the do. Okay. Um, 
downlines are not here to just make your life a paradise island. You have to, it's, I understand when you're an upline and a leader, you take responsibility for, for your downline, right? Like you have to take responsibility in terms of helping them. Yes, I get it. We don't build the business for them. I don't have that mentality. I'm not saying that, but you have to be there for them. Okay. All right. So we know what to expect from a boss, right? But we are bewildered when we experience abuse from our upline. We join people we know, like, and trust only to see them turn into dictators and bullies. You guys, I was bullied so bad from somebody in my last company. We are obviously no longer friends. But I, I, I had more self-respect for myself. I, the, the beautiful thing is that you have that block on Facebook. And I decided... I'm done. I don't have to be bullied by somebody just because somebody wants to go off and be jealous or somebody, you know, wants to, to speak very bad words behind your back, even though you did nothing. That is their problem. It's not yours. Okay. And so I'm just so sick and tired of the abusive leadership out there because there is abusive leadership. I have seen it personally. I've seen it happening to others and I'm seeing it happening again. They get off on isolating the distributor even more and making them feel like crap with verbal bullying on social media in their own forms, and it's disgusting. Okay, this profession is about people helping people and not about tearing one another down, okay? So sponsors are humans. Sponsors are humans, which means they are flawed just like the rest of us, right? But doesn't mean that you ax them off because maybe they're not producing. It doesn't mean because they want to go to another company or go be aligned with something that's more congruent with the way that they want to live that we just treat them like they're garbage. No, you guys, it, it, it's just it's just not right. It's just not right. So hold on, let me get Lola. I'm like in a rampage and this poor dog's leash is under me underneath me. Okay. Just as you would not tolerate bullying in a workplace or bullying to your child, do not tolerate bullying from your upline. It's not worth it. I promise you the success of the company depends on you and your voice. Yes, I'll be right there. We'll get ice cream. The, 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 the uh, success of the company depends on you and your voice should be heard. Please don't ever feel like you don't have a voice. Don't ever feel like just because somebody is making a million dollars and you're not, that you're not worth it because you are and you have a, you have a voice. Okay. If management dismisses your concerns or that, you know, they don't want to listen to you, let's say maybe a compliance, then you're in the wrong company. I'm sorry, you're in the wrong company, and this is the exact reason why one year ago I left and started over from scratch. I was bullied, I wasn't spoken to, I was sideswiped, I was dragged through the mud, and I had to deal with compliance for uh, an issue that should never have existed in the first place. So what did I do? I just, I had more integrity, I had more respect for myself, and I said, I will start over again. I will make this happen. And I flew. People say, how did you fly to the top in one year? I said yes to myself. And then I casted a vision and brought a team of people with me and, and I rose them up, right? We're doing it all together. So I encourage you to live how you want and to build how you want and leave and find a company that will treat you with dignity and respect at every single level you hit because that's what you deserve, right? I have a zero drama tolerance that if I catch anyone disrespecting any of our team members, I don't care where you're at. I don't care if you started yesterday, right? It will be handled immediately. So it all stems from above. The reason we don't have drama, the reason we don't disrespect is because everything stems from above. My upline doesn't do it. Their upline doesn't do it, right? And so you have to stop it somewhere. If it's happening with you and your upline is disrespecting you, you cut them off and you go and you build your own team. Okay, so let me tell you another thing. 
They want to treat you like a boss sometimes and there's ego and pride that comes into play and they tell you, don't do this, go do that. Go do tw you know 10 parties a week or 10 meetings a week. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. I went out and I found a different way to do it six years ago and I encourage you to go and do it the same. I built multiple six figures online. I barely did parties. I did parties for my team. I will say that. I'm not gonna say I never did parties. I did parties for my team and three-way calls for my team. But guess what? I got tired of doing all that. I got tired of doing all that. And that's what led me on my online journey to learn attraction marketing two, two years ago. And you guys, it works, okay? So here's the thing. I'm gonna end this with, cause now I got the ice cream chuck outside my house. So my kids are screaming for ice cream. But um, we don't run a bullying mill. We do not run a bullying mill. That's not what network marketing does. We are family and we create culture and community and it stems from the top. It's a waterfall effect, okay? So if you're out there and you are a leader and you're doing that crap or you're cutting off your team member because they're not producing um, as fast as you like them to do, guess what? You need to check yourself. You need to check yourself and check yourself fast, okay? And if you are being bullied and you are, don't appreciate where you're at, well, then you need to have enough respect for yourself and go out there and say, you know what, I like I did. I created six figures here, but I'm gonna go create seven figures over here. And that's what I'm doing, okay? And I'm bringing a team with me, right? So you guys, that's it. At the end of the day, that's what I have to say. It has to stop. It is flat out ridiculous, okay? So that's it. That's the end of my rant. Sorry. I just, it had to be said. And I'm so tired of people tiptoeing around it because there is, we are not regulated. And these uplines, some of these uplines, not all of them. Again, I'm not saying all uplines. There's a lot of amazing, amazing leaders and uplines in this business. And I love the profession, but the those that are disrespectful, that have pride and ego, and they bully and they use scare tactics, unfreaking acceptable. Unacceptable. So know that you have a, the power. You need to step into that power and make a decision that is right for you and only you. And moving forward, you and your family. If I was to sit there and say, I'm leaving this this, 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 everything I built, 9,000, a team of 9,000 people that I, I loved on my, on my old team, right? There was nothing wrong there. If I looked at everything I was losing, I would not have gained what I gained today. One year later, I'm the happiest I've ever been. They say grass is not greener. That's total BS because you guys, it is. There are greener pastures out there. I get that saying, but you also can find greener pastures and where there's a rainbow and a pot of gold and butterflies and birds. Like it is so much better. Okay. So I couldn't sit there and look at what I was giving up and neither can you. You have to look forward. You don't look behind. We all know this. You look forward. Okay. The behind is where the arrows are. Look forward, right? They're in your back. All right, guys. Peace out. Love you guys. Thanks for hanging. If you have any questions, let me know. I got to go buy ice cream for my little boys. Um, and I love you all. Bye.